Aloha, this is a video tutorial by Hezin Jung, Julius Ritteras, and Christy Staple. The article we are going to talk about is Make Excel a Little Smarter by Louis S. Mahoney and Charles Kellyher, published in the jo Journal of Accountancy in July 2003. The key to Excel functions we, we are going to talk about is how to split the cells, by using delimiters operator and fixed width, and how to combine cells by using m percent operator, and how to use v lookup and h lookup. So we'll start the video. So as you can see here, we have some data arranged in only one of the columns, and what we want to do is to split the data into separate cells. For example, we have five names here. We want to split the cells so that the first name is in column A and the last name is in column B. So to do this, we highlight the column of the cells, the cell that we want to split. We go to the data ribbon, we go to text to columns, and Excel brings up this box here. Um, Excel automatically chooses the delimited option, which means that um, there's a space separating each field. So they've automatically chosen that, so we can just hit next, and we can get rid of these, and we can click on space. So as you can see, there's a space that separated the first and last name, and now it's in two cells, which is the preview there. And that's what we want, so we click Next, and we click Finish, and now the names are neatly arranged in two different cells. Now with our second set of data, we've got a whole bunch of numbers here, all in the first column, which we want to split up so they're all in different cells. Click Data, Text to Columns, and now Excel has chosen the Fixed Width Option button. So that means that um, if your data appear in neatly aligned columns, as our numbers were, it will choose that option. So we can hit next, so we're happy with that. And as you can see, the data has been split into the different columns, which we're happy with. And we click next, and we click finish. So it's quite simple. And now our numbers are all in the separate columns. And lastly, here we've got some data which is separated by different types of delimiters. Excel can handle this as well. And it's chosen delimiter. We go next. Okay, so this date here is separated by a dash, which is not in the list of delimiters. So we have to hit other, and we have to put a dash, a slash in there. So now it's separated it for us. And also, the bottom one is separated by semicolon. So we need to click semicolon, and then it's all separated. And we also want to click comma. Okay, so that helps to split all the different types. And now next, and finish. So now it's beautifully arranged in the different columns as well. And this is how we can use the text to column function to split up our data. Okay, this is Jane and I'm going to talk to you about how to combine two cells into one col one cell. Um, so, we got a job on one day and if the boss tell you to put the name and the position into the Excel file and if you don't know the M% operator, then you will and there are like thousand data that you have to put in, then that would be a huge pain for you. So, what you can do, um, but <laughs> yeah, so you can use the M percent thing to do it. But if you just put N and the position that you're gonna put next, then it it gives you the two two colors into one cell, but it doesn't have any space on it. So what you wanna do is using the M percent thing. So Put name first, and then percent, and put space dash, and percent, 
and the position uh, and the position here. So, aha, uh -huh, it gives you the name and CEO right there. And since we are gonna do the same thing to the bottom, just click on it, and drag it down. Then it gives you all the things neatly and all in the order. And you can actually do so many other things with it that oh, I'm gonna move it back here that you can just put um put the cell that you want to put first and percent and you can actually put like this so you cannot not only using the dash you can put comma or semicolon everything you want to do so it's really easy and pretty simple and this is how you can combine cells into one cell thank you all right um, this is gr uh, my part gonna tell you more about um, how to use vlookup to be able to see through the data that you use so as you can see the data we have right here we get a first name the last name and then sales so the problem right now is to compute the commission rate and person and percentage. We have the data right here. There's a list of array. But if there are no sales, then there is no commission rate. And if it's a hundred percent, there's I mean a hundred dollars to sell one percent commission rate and a thousand that's for two percent. You have to pull up all the cells and name it as one column. So you may be able to do your VLOOKUP you may be able to see it now as we go through it okay so just click on that cell and go in for VLOOKUP okay and the Excel suggests it will write it for you now if you click on that one and here you go um, first one is you can go in for your lookup then your table array your column index number and then your range lookup so there's everything you need to put for this formula to work. So first one is your lookup value and that's going to be your sales because this is what we're going to do as a reference for what kind of commissions are we going to get. Having that one, next one is our table array. The table array that would be the whole commission um, rate table that we just um, put into one group. And there you go, commission Right, that's your table array. Now, for this next one, it's called column index number. It's actually just you're trying to identify from your um, two columns right here if you're using the first column here or the second column. So, actually, what we need is the commission rate. So, we're going to use the second column, which is the number two right there. And then your range lookup. So, it says here if you're going to use a A true this one right here you're gonna use an approximate match if you put a false then you're gonna use an exact match for it so for our formula we need to work on we don't need an exact match what we need is an approximate match so that everything that goes from 0 to 100 will get a 0% and every cell that goes from 100 to less than a thousand it will get a hundred percent one percent um, commission rate and for a thousand going up we'll get two percent so we're going to use right now is just putting true right there and then you close in your formula and you got everything all set you press enter and there you go your commission rate so click right here double click the um, right below uh, right corner and you get everything right here solid for you so this is just how it works then this is in percentage show you another trick if you're using uh, if you want to know the sales in, in dollars, the kind of commission they'll get is you'll just use the same formula right here. You copy that one and you just put the same thing right here. You copy the same formula, you put it right there, and then you just have to multiply it to the sales. So that would basically the logic is that would be the percentage times the sales. And you click enter and there you go. Just 
do the same thing and it will tolerate up everything for you. And that's how VLOOKUP um, functions and it's pretty easy and pretty handy. Now the HLOOKUP is the same. The only difference is a V. It stands for vertical. So it's using the columns. It's reading the columns vertically. The horizontal work the same way but it goes on horizontally. But it should work the same way. And that's it. So in this video, we have explained how you can combine cells to get uh, data into one column, such as in here, and we've also explained how you can split cells up to put data that's in one column into separate columns, and how you can look up data in a big table to get the information you need in other columns. And we hope this has been helpful and explained how you can make Excel a little smarter.